what is it that interested you about migration and, and loss and damage? Well, it's such an important issue. I mean, I'm from Australia. It's going to be a very regionally topical issue. I also wrote my honours thesis on it, so it's, it's something I've been engaging with over the past year, and I just find it fascinating, all the different aspects to it. Yeah, it's just a very important issue, I think. Right. And what's this experience been like for you I mean, when you got here? What was, what was your first impression when you walked into this conference, this huge conference centre for the first time? And what has the experience been like? What, what, what has it brought you? I think one word sums it up, and it's overwhelming. It has been incredibly overwhelming. Uh, lots of exercise, too, because it's a massive centre. Um, it's frustrating, too, actually, just watching it all. I, I mean, it's a beautiful centre and everything, but watching or trying to watch what's happening in here is just incredibly frustrating. Right. In what way? Just the decisions are not reached, that everybody seems to have their own point of view? I and mean, where, where does the frustration lie? Well, I'm trying to follow loss and damage, but the negotiations have all been closed. So that's my first frustration, that I actually haven't been able to see what's been occurring behind closed doors. And then even just seeing the texts that are coming out, being frustrated with that content because um, it's just not achieving the goals that I would have hoped to have been achieved here and that I know many countries would have hoped would have been achieved. Right, I mean, viewing this from, from, on, you know, from afar, from Melbourne, yeah. you can kind of look at the issues and maybe decide, well, that needs to be done and that needs to be done, you know, given that you have all the information available. When you get here and see the 194 countries, I think it is, all the different other NGOs, I mean, the sheer scale of it, I mean, that size, it must be, you know, what's the, I mean, what conclusions have you reached? Where do we go from here? How do we make, how do we make uh, decisions out of all this? Tough question. Yeah, there's um, no answer. I'm being very cruel. I'm being very, very cruel. So, yeah. Um, well, I think it, it is important to recognise that this is not the only conference. There are so many throughout the year that lead up to this. Um, I don't think we can expect to have all the answers here, but gee, we can try really, really hard. And I think, I think the most important thing that comes out of this conference are the connections that are made, not just for us as students or youth, but for the countries here to realise who's on their side, who they can work with and just achieve those sorts of aims. And what will you do with what you've learned from this experience? you go back to Australia and think, I never want to talk about climate change again, or will you use some of what you've learned here uh, to good effect? I don't think I'm ever going to have that option. It's going to be such a big issue for my future. Um, no, I definitely want to continue to work uh, about climate change induced displacement and migration, so I'll continue to advocate for that. I have an internship lined up with an organisation that works on it. So I'm planning on pretty much probably just devoting my rest of rest of my life to trying and achieving some type of goal with this because people currently displaced by climate change um, who are internationally displaced are unrecognised under international law and I would like to try and help solve that problem. Okay, well we can't ask for more than that. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs>